I'm Laverne Vivio from The Blaze TV, and this is Wide Awake. Now, the sign behind me, the message is clear, get the blaze. And many of you may look at that and say, well, that's just a promotional marketing sign to build a network for profit. And sure, we're capitalists, that's part of it. But you know, having known and listened to Glenn for so many years, and now working at the network, I know it's really more about the message. Because you know that mantra that we work under, the truth has no agenda, we really believe that. And we believe that we've got to get that message to the masses to turn this country around. I feel the same way about the information I share with you about faith and wide awake. I believe it's a game changer because I believe in our faith life and our American life that we just take it all for granted that it will always be here. Never really seeing the constant efforts being made to undermine everything that holds us together. We just go through the motions, not really understanding the why of it all. And you know, when you don't understand why you do something, it loses its value. The only way to get back to the why is to get to the truth. That is why we're working so hard at The Blaze, to build a network that has at its very core a truth without any agenda at all. That's also why I'm sharing with you the information about faith and wide awake, because as you may have also heard, the truth will set you free. It did for me, and I hope it'll do the same for you. But it didn't happen because I took, it didn't happen with me taking my faith for granted. It happened when I went digging for answers. It took me 20 years to get to a place where I could look anybody in the eye and say, I know 100% for certain that God is God and Christ is His Son, and you can get there too. There's a lot to cover, but one of the coolest things I've discovered over the years is information from Josh McDowell. If you've never studied Mr. McDowell, look him up. He's got a massive amount of material and it is amazing. But one of the best observations I've ever heard him make was regarding the testimony of the apostles. He said, can you trust what they wrote? He added, absolutely, because they wrote as eyewitnesses. And you may say that will be deal. I can say I'm an eyewitness, but it doesn't make it true. But he said, no, no, no. They declare others eyewitnesses. Peter did it in front of thousands in Acts 2.22. He said, I saw these things and so did you. Can you imagine if he had done that in front of thousands during that time period in history? That was heresy. But instead of people storming the podium and killing him like they would have, thousands became Christians. Paul did it in front of King Agrippa in Acts 26, 25 through 26. He said, King, he said, you know these things are true. It didn't happen in a corner. You know, they go on to talk about so many that saw Christ after the resurrection. And he said, and one of the, the main things you need to remember, he says, these apostles, all but John, 11 of them, from history we know were martyred. They died horrible deaths declaring this truth. They went to their death declaring this truth. And you may say, but people die for a while all the time. That doesn't make it true. He said, no, 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 go back to the eyewitness. He said, these men saw him during the ministry on the cross. They saw him die and they saw him rise again. They went to their death declaring a truth that they didn't hope for, but that they were eyewitness to. There is so, so much more I can share with you. But you can take a look at my material that I put together over the course of time, my notes. It's a free download, Constitution of Faith. It's a free PDF at my website, LavernDivio.com. You can also send me questions if you want something you want me to dig into and to look up. I'll be glad to. Maybe we'll cover it on a future episode of Wide Awake. And in the next Wide Awake, I'm going to cover something I teased a little bit last month. How old do you think the Earth is? How do you think Christians believe the Earth to be? What do you think? Till then, God bless and lost Dio, y'all.